Come on, man. We got to make one of these plays. Trust Jacob DeGrom. Mike Piazza. That's the golden sombrero, and we're only in the sixth inning. <laughs> That's a moonshot. Wow. Brandon freaking Nimmo, dude. Go, go, go. back with another all-time team build here on MLB The Show 21. In the previous video, we used the New York Yankees. It was a tough game. It was my first time playing Legend in a really long time. I tried my best, but ultimately, we did not come out on top. So today, I'm looking to get back on the winning track. I am going to have to play Legend difficulty again, so it's going to be a challenge. But we're going to stay in New York, and we're going to go to the National League side of things and pick up the all-time New York Mets. The Mets have been around since the 60s, and in that time, they have nine postseason appearances with five pennants and two World Series wins. Their most recent World Series appearance was in 2015 when they lost in five games to the Kansas City Royals. And their most recent World Series win was all the way back in 1986 when they won in seven games over the Red Sox. But really, the Mets have a lot of stretches in their franchise history where they go a while without making the postseason. A lot of Mets fans are hoping that they're not in one of those eras right now because they have not made the postseason in the past five seasons. They have made a ton of moves with Steve Cohen as the new owner. They've spent a lot of money on some of the biggest free agents available. And I think the Mets are going to be drastically improved going into the 2021 season. But still, they've got to prove it in the division that has the defending World Series champions. The Phillies played really well last year. The Marlins are young and hungry. And this is my all-time New York Mets in MLB The Show 21. Now, there's a lot to talk about with this team. And if you've been watching my videos on these all-time teams, you guys know kind of how I like to model these squads. And I gotta be honest, the Mets were easily the most difficult team I've had to build so far. Because when I look at this team, I don't necessarily see the Mets. Obviously, you've got some guys like Mike Piazza, and you've got Gary Carter and Keith Hernandez. That's all good. But Lindor, he's only been there for a year. I mean, he has that massive contract with them. Javi Baez was only there for half a season. He's now with the Tigers. Justin Turner is known more for being a Dodger. And Brandon Nimmo and Conforto work on this team. But man, I wish we had Dave. David Wright. I wish we had Jose Reyes. I wish we had Strawberry. Guys like that. Guys you think of when you think of the New York Mets. And even on the bench, I've got some good options here with Pete Alonso, John Olerud, Cespedes, Cliff Floyd, Juan Ligaris. I would love to get Pete Alonso and Olerud in this team somewhere, but they just don't have the secondary positions to play anywhere else. As far as the rotation, we've got Jacob deGrom, Tom Seaver, Al Leiter, Tom Glavin, and Matt Harvey. There's a million different ways you can go with this rotation. There's so many pitchers that work on the all-time Mets. This is just what I ultimately ended up with. And in the pen, we've got Billy Wagner, Paul Sewald, Aaron Loop, John Franco, Edwin Diaz, Familia, Trevor May, and Heath Bell. Jumping into the fit check for the road team, we're wearing the 1985 road unis. And of course, if we're the home team, we gotta wear the alternate black Mets unis. Come on, let me be the home team, man. I'm tired of playing at Ship It in these games. Ah, okay, never mind. Let me get a Ship It. Ah, how did I know? Dude, that, that straight up looked like a strike for a long time. That splitter is nasty. We're lucky that it dropped. Oh, no. Is that staying in? Oh, my. Dude, that, like, was barely even foul. That was weird. Oh, Mike. Let's go, baby. Mike Piazza going deep in the first inning. 4-12 off Shohei. That's nice, man. Got a couple runs early on Legend. That's big for my confidence. Ah, uh, that curveball should not be giving me these type of problems. I've swung and missed at that like two or three times now. I got to see that. No go for Gary Carter. Hey, we got two. Big time swing from Mike Piazza. And we got a pitcher that we trust on the mound right here, Jacob DeGrom. Normally, I would start Tom Seaver in the all-time Mets, but he's really low on energy. Plus, I feel like Jacob DeGrom is getting to that point where he might be considered the best Mets pitcher ever. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Got to make this play. There you go. Obviously, DeGrom has some competition for that title, of course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But basically, the point is, I feel like it's okay if he starts on the all-time Mets. Wow. I'm just going down the middle. He's fouling off a lot here. Got him. Oh, come on, man. Wait back just a second on that. 
Oh, that was such an ugly swing. JT, that has a chance to get down. Let's go. Don't sleep on DeGrom. <laughs> no! I, I, that's what I get. <laughs> I deserve that line out. Come on. Come on, DeGrom. No, 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 no. Conforto! Oh, that would have been a sick play. He might get three there. We have a chance. Let's go! Oh my god, I can't believe we got him. It's like he was trying to go four, so he kind of like rounded third base a little bit. Or his guy was like going around the bag, but that's what screwed him. If he went straight to the bag with either a head first slide or, or a, uh, a slide around the other side of the bag, he's safe. Line him out. Attaboy, Gary. Let's go. Lead off walk. Come on, Piazza. Do your thing. Dude, some of these strikeouts are really bad. Dude, I'm getting a lot of fluke hits, but it doesn't matter if I can't bring these guys around. I got to send him here. I got to send him here. That scores a run. Thank you, Javi Baez. Yes, I am fully aware that I'm getting a lot of fluke hits, but I will take anything on Legend. Yeah, that's a, that's a fitting way to end the inning. I'm going to try to spot a four-seam away. Filthy, dude. Good pitch. That That's that's pure luck. Come on, man. We got to make one of these plays. Brandon freaking Nimmo, dude. JT. There we go. Base knock to start the inning. Um... Should I bunt with DeGrom? No, you know what? I'm swinging it with DeGrom all the way. Dude, this guy loves that curveball, man. I've literally never seen somebody use Otani's curveball more than this guy. Okay. First and second for... Who is it? Nimmo? All good. All good. It's going to set up Piazza. He had the big swing earlier. Go. 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 Get out of here, ball. Get out of here, ball. Mike Piazza. Another one. Five runs batted in, and we're only in the fourth inning. Let's go. There's that curveball again. See what I mean? This guy is just abusing that curveball, and it's not working out as well as he thinks. Ah, that was a good at bat, but I folded at the end. Huge hitting right there, man. We needed a big swing like that. Stepping up with multiple guys on base. That was so clutch from Mike Piazza. I just don't really get my opponent's game plan with Otani on the mound because he just keeps throwing the curveball. And I've gotten multiple hits on it, whether they've been flukes or actual crushed home runs like Piazza's. He's just not using the fastball as much as he should. Like, I, I'm not struggling to hit the curveball because he's not really establishing the four-seam fastball. So, I mean, I, I don't really get it personally. I'm really nervous about this four-seam to Soto. <laughs> Trust Jacob deGrom. Go, Javi. Let's go, baby. Boom. I just realized, why am I playing Javi Baez at third and Turner at Justin Turner's primary is third and Javi's prime they should be switched I don't know why they're set up like that oh are they really doing it to Gary Carter like that come on let my boy live there dude I'm telling you if you throw more of that I will not touch it Maybe next time there, Keith. Should I do it to Harper? Eh, whatever. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. Such a stupid pitch. Makes no sense. Nope, that's fallen. Just play it off the hop, Gary. Go to first. Go to first base. A hey, five very strong innings from Jacob DeGrom. Right idea. Got to be a little bit later on the timing. That's that's a great pitch. I'm not even... I don't even want to think about that one. 
Francisco Lindor. That's a moonshot. I love this Lindor card, man. He's so good for me. I just, I love Honus so much and I love Tatis, but dude, Lindor, I, he's like right there in the mix of guys that I would absolutely start as shortstop on my God Squad. Oh, that's, that's a rip right there in the gap. We got to get two. We got to get two, Nimmo. a baby. Here we go. This is the guy he doesn't want to face. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Just, dude, just literally walk him. Just walk him. Do not pitch to Mike Piazza anymore. That's three. Bro, why does he still have Otani in the game, man? He's had 114 pitches. And he's allowed nine runs through five and two thirds. What are we, why are you, what, take him out. <laughs> hey, kind of a brutal day for Michael Conforto. That's the golden Sobrero, and we're only in the sixth inning. All right, he finally took out Otani. I'm surprised he didn't let Otani hit right there, though. It's just not your day, buddy. That's an easy out for Conforto. It's actually a fairly tough play for Conforto, but he got there. Keep it going, bro. We're only two runs away from being in Mercy Rule territory. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Gary. We got to hammer that slider. I mean, he's pitching much better with Mariano Rivera than he did in any of the innings with Shohei Otani. Ooh. Miss that, dude. I had a couple pitches to destroy that inning. Jacob deGrom is going to lead off the uh, the top of the eighth, but he's pitching so well, I don't even want to go to the bullpen or take him out. I mean, I'd like to get more of the, uh, the New York Mets involved in this game right here. Some of the guys on the bench, maybe a bullpen arm or two, but like, dude, I'm trying to get a dub right here, and deGrom is my best bet. Look at Soto, man. Soto was trying to take DeGrom out of the game by himself. All right. Come on. Let's turn to double play. And there's our double play. Yeah. I mean, the difference here is that this guy, you can tell he knows what he's doing with Mariano versus Shohei. He just did not throw the right pitches with Otani. Oh, man. I thought for a second Lindor had a shot. Be a hit. 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 We'll take it. If Mike Piazza hits four home runs, I might cry. Oh, man. I got too excited. Oh, a tough break for my man there. Keith. Oh, Keith. He's a friggin' vacuum. Ah! Had him to two strikes, man. Get this, Baez. Woo! There it is. Ninth inning. Let's see if we can add a couple more here. We got, uh, who we got? Conforto hitting? Who can I... Yeah, you know what? Let's change it up a little bit. We'll put, uh, we'll put Cespedes in left field to, uh, finish out this game. Home run derby Cespedes doing what he does best. Good pitch. Javi. Javi. Come on. Get out of here. No, it's staying in. Oh, I really wanted that, man. I wanted to be up by 10. What do we got? Keith Hernandez coming up? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's get Pete in the game. We already had one home run derby champion go yard. Let's get, uh, let's get Pete in here. Let's do it again. Oh, and he, I think he did it. It's at least off the wall. Pete Alonso, bro. Both home run derby champions went yard off the bench. Like, what? All right. Jacob DeGrom, let's finish this. We gave you 10 runs of insurance. And also, uh, let's go ahead and change some things up. Let's go ahead and bring in... Uh, let's put in John Olerud at first. I love that he has the helmet on. I think that's such a sick little addition. <laughs> Watch him make this 10-run comeback. This might be risky. Let's do it. Go right down the middle sometimes. It's your best option. 
Got him with 102. Let's finish the job. There it is, 102, striking out the side in the ninth inning to put an exclamation point on a one-run complete game performance from Jacob DeGrom. Mike Piazza's got to be the player of the game. I don't care that DeGrom just went CG. Mike Piazza hit three home runs. Yeah, seven RBI for Mike Piazza. Like, where did that come from? I've never been good with his card. But I'm going to sound like a broken record. It also had to do with my opponent not really pitching that well with Shohei Otani. He was overusing the curveball, wasn't using the fastball as much as he should, barely used the cutter for some reason. So while the 11 runs is great, there's there's kind of a reason for it too. So there you have it, the all-time New York Mets. They had arguably the best all-time video so far in terms of performance. Kind of unexpected, but I love to see it. Anyway, if you guys had fun with the video, hit that thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.